Hi, I'm James Stevens, founder and CEO of Mr Roses. Yeah, my first memory of being around flowers would definitely have been um, heading down to Mum and Dad's store at Town Hall uh, Station, named uh, Town Hall Florist, and I think I was all of five years of age and, and just recall seeing flowers out the front of the store and uh, I, I, I still recall some of the prices, like 20 cents a bunch back then, so that was uh, circa 1970. I attended markets from, from a very early age. I saw Dad and the way he conducted himself at the markets. I think I followed suit. I had a work colleague that mentioned that there was a flower store in New York that only sold roses. I actually gravitated to that immediately. Um, I liked the idea and we set up this business up in Chifley Plaza. That one business was just a single store, a tiny little store that had 12 phones out the back of it. So it was meant to be a, a telephone ordering business. Fundamentally, the origins of, of the Roses Only business were because I didn't want to have a bricks and mortar store. There's other things that come by virtue of not having a, a bricks and mortar store. We don't have to display flowers in the open air, which are typically dying before your eyes. So they're kept in cold storage till we need to actually pick, pack them, and deliver them. Two years ago, we started Mr. Roses. We started with a very, very basic plan of, of de just delivering 12 roses in a box. We've added other flower lines to the repertoire. We now do sunflowers, beautiful lilies. On any given day, we're averaging 25% of customers that are returning back to the store, as in back to our online store. That's probably one of the metrics that I'm incredibly proud of, which will hold us in good stead to keep on growing. We're now able to service same day in Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, Perth and Newcastle with an intent of also growing into Adelaide, possibly Canberra and various other cities. The fear of failure is probably my biggest reason why I'd like to think we may have succeeded. So perseverance in the face of the possibility of failure would have to be the single thing that I would obviously say to any budding entrepreneur. I suppose that's my little bit of advice. Thank you